Here we have a sat math question. Okay, let's go to the question. Y equals to 2x square negative 21x positive 64. Y equals to 3x positive a. In the given system of equations, a is a constant. The graphs of the equations in the given system intersect at exactly one point x comma y in the xy plane. What is the value of x? Here, uh, the given system of equations intersect at exactly one point in the xy plane. So that is, if I solve the given system of equations, I'll be getting uh, only one solution. Since uh, the graphs of the given two equations are intersect at only one point, so then solving the given system uh, will yield only one solution. Okay, now let's solve the given system. For that, uh, we can write y equals to y. And for the y on the left side, we can use the stuff which is equivalent to y in the first equation. So then we get 2x square and negative 21x positive 64. And for the y on the right side, we can get uh, the stuff uh, which is equal to y in the second equation, that is 3x positive a. Okay, so this is a quadratic equation. And to solve this quadratic equation, so we have to get this quadratic equation in standard form. So which is uh, ax square positive bx positive c equals to zero. That is, we must have everything on the left side. On the right side, uh, we must have zero. Okay, so since uh, we must have zero on the right side, we have to get rid of this 3x and a. So for that, I subtract 3x and a from both sides. Let me do it. When I subtract 3x from both sides, uh, this positive 3x and 3x will, will cancel out. And positive and negative will cancel out. I'm getting 2x square. Uh, so when I combine this negative 21x and negative 3x, I'm getting negative 24x. And uh, when I write this together, I'm getting positive 64 and negative a equals to 0. Okay, so this is the x square term, this is the x term, and uh, this positive 64, negative a together to be considered as a constant term. Okay, now uh, this is uh, in the form of ax square plus to bx plus to c. And I got this quadratic equation by solving the given system. Uh, already the question says the graphs of the given two equations are intersect at exactly one point. So the given system has only one solution. Okay, since I got this quadratic equation by solving the given system, so this quadratic equation must have only one solution because the given system has only one solution. Okay, if a quadratic equation in the form ax square plus to bx plus to c has exactly one solution, then the value of the discriminant b square negative 4ac must be equal to zero. Actually, we have to apply this condition when a quadratic equation has uh, exactly one solution. Okay, so according to the information we have in the question, uh, so the quadratic equation I got by solving the given system must have only one solution. So and the value of the discriminant of, for this quadratic equation must be zero. For that, we have to be knowing the value of a, b, and c. So let's compare this expression over here with the ax square plus bx plus c. So here a is a coefficient of x square. Here the coefficient of x square is two. So a is equal to two. And so b is the coefficient of x. So here the value of b is, uh, I mean here the coefficient of b, x is negative 24. So that's the value of b. And uh, c is a constant here, 64 negative a is a constant. So for c, we have 64 negative a. Okay, so already we have discussed that the quadratic equation over here uh, must have only one solution. So the discriminant b square negative 4ac must be zero. So now let's plug in the values for b. The value of b is negative 24, the whole square, negative four times the value of a is two, and the value of c is uh, 64 uh, negative a equals to zero. Okay, now uh, I have to get the value of uh, negative 24, the whole square. So this uh, square is applicable for the complete stuff for inside the parenthesis. When I apply this even exponent two for this negative, it will become positive. So now I have to get the value of 24 square. So the value of 24 square is, 576 negative 4 times 2 is 8 uh, times 64 negative a equals to 0. Now I have to distribute this negative 8 to 64 and negative a. So before that I have to write this 576. When I distribute this negative 8 to negative 64, I'm getting negative 512. When I distribute this negative 8 to negative a, I'm getting positive 80a equals to 0. So when I combine this 576 and uh, negative 512, I'm getting uh, 64 positive 80 equals to zero. Okay, let's solve for A in this equation. Uh, for that, I have to subtract 64 from both sides. When I subtract 64 from both sides, this positive 64 and 64 will cancel out. I'm getting 80 is equal to negative 64. Okay, now let's divide both sides by eight. So when I do so, this eight, eight will cancel out. A equals to negative. When I divide 64 by eight, I'm getting uh, eight. So now I got the value of a. So the value of a is uh, negative eight. Okay, now what I need to do is, out of, but our aim is uh, to find the value of x. So not the value of a. So to get the value of x, what I need to do is, out to plug in uh, a is equal to eight into this quadratic equation. And further, I have to solve the quadratic equation for x. 
Okay, now let's plug in a is equal to eight into this quadratic equation. Then we get two uh, x square negative twenty four x uh, positive sixty four negative. So the value of a is negative eight equals to zero. So then I'm getting two x square negative twenty four x uh, positive sixty four. Negative times negative will become positive eight equals to zero. Okay, so we get two x square and negative twenty four x. Uh, when I combine this sixty four and eight, I'm getting a positive seventy two equals to zero. Okay, now our work is to solve for this uh, solve this quadratic equation for x because according to the question, we have to find the value of x. Here in this quadratic equation, uh, everything I mean each term uh, is a multiple of two because here we have two, here we have twenty four, here we have seventy two. So better we can divide uh, each term by two so that uh, the numbers will become smaller. It will be easier for us to solve this quadratic equation for x. Okay, let me divide the first term by two and the second term uh, by two and the third term by two. So this two two will cancel out. I'm just getting x square over here and two goes into one times and two goes into twenty four twelve times and here two goes into two one times and two goes into seventy two thirty six times. So then we get the quadratic equation x square negative twelve x uh, positive thirty uh, six equals to zero. Okay, now I think we can solve this quadratic equation by factoring. For that, we have to get two factors for this positive thirty six. So because uh, the x square, the equation of x square is one. So when I when I'm trying to solve a quadratic equation by factoring, always I have to look at the equation of x square. If the equation of x square is one, so we have to take the constant term in the quadratic equation. So now I have to get two factors uh, for the constant term thirty six. So that the product of the two factors over here must be equal to positive thirty six, and the addition of the two factors must be equal to the coefficient of x, which is negative twelve. So I think uh, negative six, negative six uh, will work. So because when I multiply negative six and negative six, that is negative times negative will become positive. Six times six is thirty six. So the product of the two factors, uh, negative six and negative six, uh, equals to positive thirty six. When I add the two factors, negative six and negative six, it becomes negative twelve, which is the coefficient of x. So the factor form of this quadratic uh, expression is x negative six times x negative six equals to zero. Okay, so here we multiply uh, to same quantity, so we can write uh, the uh, product of x negative six and negative x negative six as x negative six a whole square equals to zero. Okay, to solve for x first, we have to get of this uh, square. For that, I have to take a uh, square root on both sides. When you take square root on both sides, the square root and square will cancel out. I am getting x negative six equals to zero. Okay, now uh, in this equation, x negative six equals to zero. To solve for x, I have to add six to both sides. When I add six to both sides, negative six plus two six will cancel out. I am getting x is equal to six. So now I got the value of x. So x equals to six.